In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what goes through my mind in a live online game of Madden 22. What's good, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to do that. It's completely free to subscribe, and you can always unsubscribe at a later time if you don't enjoy the content. Now, we post videos every single day that are designed to help you get better at Madden 22, and I've been getting a lot of requests for gameplay videos. So we're gonna show you a raw gameplay. This is exactly what goes through my mind when I play the game. Um, on offense, I'm gonna be running the Seattle playbook. And on defense, I'm gonna be running the Chicago defensive playbook. If you wanna get either my offense or the, the exact offense or the exact defense that I'm running in this video, I'm gonna put links to all of that in the description as well as the comment section for you uh, to be able to have access to it. Now, um, ideally, Real quick, right off the bat, um, what you want to do is if you win the toss, ideally you really want to go ahead and uh, kick the ball. If you get the ball out of half, it is it is basically practically like an automatic uh, stop. So in my opinion, that's one of my favorite little tricks. And, and again, any pro player will tell you that that is one of the most important things that you could possibly do. Now, what you're going to see is it looks like my opponent is going to be running some I form Y off. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to come out in the cover three cloud out of the nickel triple formation. I think this is one of the better run defenses in the game. Uh, and what you'll see here is we're going to get ran on right off the bat. Now, if he's a runner, honestly, I don't fear runners because in Madden 22, the way the game works, like I feel like you have to pass. And that's just my opinion. So if he wants to run on game, like I'll set my my nickel triple up, and we'll just run this on him. Uh, I think nickel triple is it, it. It's just it's just a really fun defense to run, uh, to be honest. So let's see here. I'm gonna put Jack Tatum there. There we go. And then I need to put Landry in here. Okay. Now we're gonna get into his stuff. So he's gonna run a bunch of tight ends. Not not very many people in this year's game is running like I form Y off or whatever. So. What I like to do is, I guess, especially against bunch tight end, uh, is this. We're just going to play kind of basic, honestly. A little off tackle run. I don't see that a lot. I think he must be in the run heavy playbook. So I'm just going to try to shoot it from the backside. I feel like I can shoot this. Let's see. He's clicked onto his tight end. I don't know what he's doing. That's kind of weird. All right, now we're in bunch. Now we're in his stuff. Okay. So let's see. You gonna snap the ball, bro? That shouldn't pick. I oh no, that's what I get for putting him on ten. That's what I get for putting him on ten. I'll live with that. To be honest, I'm not too. I'm not too like mad about that. We're just playing really, really basic to start here. Uh, just because I, I, I want – here's the point. Um, what you want to do on the first drive, this is just my opinion, um, is you want to make them work. You want to make them have to work. So what you're seeing I'm doing is I'm just trying to make them work. I'm trying to see, like, what are the routes that he likes to call? What are the things that he likes to do? Why does he go to this route on this situation? And, and try to see kind of how he likes to play, especially if you've never played the opponent you're playing before. I think this is a great way to start a game. Like literally just do this. There, It's really hard to beat this for a one-play score. So you're going to force them to have to work a little bit. You're going to force them to have to do stuff. And there, I, oh, I tried to click on him and get the pick. Uh, you know, I mean, just basic stuff. And, you know, try to see a lot of times what happens is they'll make a mistake. Like they'll make a mistake early. You get If you get one turnover, I feel like in this year's game, as long as you – like are disciplined on offense you don't have to run bunch bunch is the best offense this year you don't have to run bunch um in my opinion to like consistently win but what i'm saying is you don't have to run bunch either to guarantee yourself scores like i have other offenses that i like to run as well what i'm just saying is you want to be the key is the takeaway is you want to be disciplined that's what you want to do you want to be disciplined because as long as you don't turn the ball over in this year's game, I feel like if you can throw the ball, like if you have basic, I mean, just basic ability to read and react, you're going to be in a pretty good spot. So let's see if he runs here. I probably, I feel like it's going to be a run. Nope. PA. Go there. Send that there. Man, Cam Newton's just running. 
Okay, so now this is where, this to me is where, you know, the money happens. Just can we get a stop here? Because if, if, like, again, and that's that's basically my strategy on the first drive, is ideally I want, it, I want him to get down here like this. I want him to have to take significant amount of time. So as you see here, he's had to take the whole first quarter to drive down. And then I want to try to get a stop here. If I can't get a stop here, I'm okay, right? I'm, I'm kind of already planning that way. But this is, you know, again, this is just a simple way to think about it. Um, so he's going to go to bunch. So this is where, like, I'll show, you know, I'll show some pressure. Um, you'll see here, I'm going to blitz here. Go with one of my better blitzes. Try to get a stop. I freaking ran the ball. Um... You know, but then my idea is like I can double dip the chip, right? I can, I can go score out of halftime. Um, right here, I'm gonna come over here. Let's see if he wants to run on me. I really want him to throw the ball. There we go. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. That's absolutely huge. That's why I saved it. I didn't blitz. 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 And then I, I blitz. I think that's how you have to play this year. I really do. I think you have to pick and choose your spots. Um, I really, really do. And, you know, that's just my opinion. I feel like you have to, to a degree, force them to have to work, have to work, have to work, have to work. Get them in a situation like this. Because now, get this. Okay, here's what. here's my plan. Okay. I want to be able to get the ball. I want to go score seven. Then I want to get the ball at half and go score seven. I want this to be 14 to three by the time he gets the ball back. That's a two possession lead and it's basically GG's. That's literally how I approach this. So on offense, I've got to be super disciplined to work up and down the field, take this entire three minutes and, and be able to win the ball game that way. To me, that's the biggest thing I can tell people, honestly. Um, you don't the where I tend have a tendency to lose Madden games this year is not because my offense can't score, is not because my offense can't make big plays, is not because I don't have one play touchdowns. I do, right? But where I tend to lose games is when I make I try to bomb so much and I force and I throw a pick. Or I, you know, try to bomb every play and I get a throw out of sack and I get a pick. Or I try to scramble with my quarterback to make a big play and I fumble the ball. Those are how that's how I lose games. Okay, so I I've kind of changed my approach and like I'm willing to throw the ball away. I'm willing to take a sack. I'm willing to you know I'm willing to play a little bit differently. Um, you know, really than I like to play personally uh, because I feel like that's how you have to play this year. You know, and it, it looks like what is that? What about spacing on this? Let's go flood here. Looks like he wants to run some man coverage, so we'll just go to this. Um, drag route, inaccurate, even though I've got pocket dead eye. That's frustrating. Uh, what's the play that I want to put here? Z spot. And go flood, and then I want this to be clear out. I guess I got messed up on my, my deal. So it looks like he's just saying... Let's play man coverage and pray. I'm gonna go verticals. I'm gonna start big. Oh, what is this? Okay, so my great strategy, and I'm like in a nail biter now. I'll tell you what, though, because I haven't really worked on offense that much, I really find myself, like, sometimes, like, not being able to, to dot. This post route right here, really, really good route. That's huge. That post route can't get zone drop. That's why I like mesh post so much. I think it's better than double post because it keeps running. Mesh double post will stop. I mean, there's a lot of things. All right, so he's showing a lot of pressure here. He's playing really aggressive. He's trying to get the ball back, in my opinion. So you know what? Let's just do this. Let me see if I can snap it. Come on, snap the ball, dude. Come on. I just saw that, too. Mm, that's on me. Those are the kind of things I don't like to see happening. Um. Okay, so, like, the way he is playing, 
you have to think about how they're playing too. So like, I don't even know what this is. I think this is nickel normal. It might be big dime, but like we're just trying. We don't want to. We don't need a touch a one play score. We just need to work the ball up and down the field, right? So like right here, that's a perfect read for the situation. That's a perfect read for the situation. He keeps him bounds, and that's I think that's some of what you have to think about when you're running your offense. You can't just run your stuff like in this year's game. I don't really feel like that's how the game works. I feel like you have to be able to say, you know what, yeah, I can dot him, but I'm not going to dot him right now. I really feel like that's how you have to play this year. Like, that's just me. And that's what makes this route, look at that, look at those moves. So, like, that's honestly a bad thing. Like, it's not a bad thing. Um, I, I should have went down about the 15-yard line because now, as you see here, I don't have enough space. So, like, if I get down in there, it's not a great not a great situation to be in. I just don't want to give him the ball back. That's the whole point, right? That's the whole point. Or I want to take at least take all of his timeouts before he gets that ball back. So, you see here, like, little – just that's just purely for clock. I didn't even care if I got yards. Literally didn't even care. Um, I think he's in big nickel, looks like. Okay, so here, you know, now this is where you have to, again, you have to be super strategic about this this year. Take all the clock. Take sack, take sack, take sack. Yep, that's fine. So right there, it's like, okay, I'll just take sack. So now I got a little bit more space. Even if I kick three, it's really not a bad thing. Like, it really isn't. That's so frustrating. I should have went down two. Oh, that's such a mistake. Ah, that's such a mistake. My tight end would not release. I needed him to release. I don't know why I'm out here. I thought I chose to kick a field goal, but that's fine. Um... Like, what the heck just happened? I don't understand. That's weird. Um, oh, that's so frustrating. I had it, I had it too. I was... Oh, that's, 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 that's on me. That's okay, though, because if you think about it, again, getting the ball at half is such a big deal, such a big advantage. So, like, he's realistically going to have one to two plays. He's not going to be able to get into field goal range. Like, I don't think he's got enough time to be able to get into field goal range and then take time out. So realistically, this is not a bad thing. It's just I don't like giving I don't like giving them the ball back if I can help it. Um, and I should have just went down and and obviously would have called timeout, but it just you know it's just a better play. So you see, you're like four seconds. Um, I don't recommend calling. I don't recommend calling man up three deep. So like you're gonna see here, we're putting everything on thirty just in case we get quick hiked. Um, and then I need to make sure that I'm not base aligned. Okay, perfect. So like this, and then we're just going to send five, and then everybody's in a deep zone. To me, this is the best way to do it. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now, like, not all is lost, but because if you think about it, like, if I get the ball, I go down, I score, ideally get seven this time because I'm not too wor I'm not as worried about the clock. Like, I'm still monitoring the clock, and, I, and again, this is where it's important. I, you want to hold the ball this year. <laughs> like, you... You don't want to score in one play. Like, you, you can, but I just don't think it's that great of a strategy. Um, man, we almost everybody almost fumbled that away. I think the better strategy is to hold the ball, make it work. Now, in this example, we're not going to have to hold it like we were. That is going to, like, crypt, cripple our play calling and all that. Um, you know, that's not what we're going to have to do. And honestly, right here, just because I know what he's running, I'm going to run this and try to get a beater. This should be a touchdown. And the reason why, I just knew what he was going to do. Because he did that earlier where he was running the crossfire with the cover three. So that's fine. Now, um, you know, here, a little bit of a different situation. Um, I want to go for two. I probably will go for two in this situation. Just because I don't think he can stop me. And 
I'm going to get the ball again. If I wasn't going to get the ball again, I wouldn't do this. Or if I was worried, I wouldn't get the ball again. But because I scored so fast, I really feel like this is the best play. And there you see two points. So now I'm up eight. And I've only took, you know, you know, again, like third quarter, you can score fast if you get the ball first. But if you don't get the ball first, you know, because now, again, it's changing how I'm going to play defense. That's the time and the situations. They really do matter this year, way more than they ever have. Because defense is so hard. Because it's so easy to move the ball. Um, and, and you really don't even have to be good to move the ball this year, right? Um, so the point is... This you have to be a master, in my opinion, in this year's game. And this is again, this is Cody's opinion. You can take it or leave it. You have to be a master of situations. I can score in one play a lot with my offense, but it's not the best strategic move. Um, I think that is something that you know people need to understand. Now, right here, this is kind of an interesting. Like he's gonna do this stuff, and and I just I messed up my one of my adjustments. If he's gonna run five wide, we're gonna we're gonna blitz him, but we're only gonna send two people. Um, the the two that's what the two four five. I've got a bunch of two man pressures, and it doesn't look like he's gonna consistently run this. So we're just gonna go back to our basic stuff here. We'll see if he runs. Him running the ball is probably the best thing for me, like in the worst thing for him to be honest. Let me see here. He's going to run around, try to hit stick him. Like, you know, it's not a big deal. Like, again, um, you know, this is just clock management, man. It's just clock management. Like, that's all this game is this year, I think. Like, any offense can be good. Any offense can be good in this game. Um, you know, so that's why I truly haven't spent a lot of time on offense. I feel like defense is more important. But hey, there's your inside zone. And it's like we live with stuff like that. Like that's – we don't live with that. We didn't want him to score. I don't know why we can't tackle. But now – okay, so now he's in a situation where, um, you know, he has to go for two. So if he goes for two uh, – if he doesn't go for two, that's a significant advantage to me. If he does go for two, which he probably is going to, you see here what's – I've got to look at what he's going to call. So like right here, he's going to call bunch, and we're going to go with that same – uh, concept that got him earlier. We'll see if he runs the ball. And he throws a little spacing switch. Good call. That's crazy how open that is. Um, so, okay. So, you got his two points. So, now I've got kind of a couple decisions. Um, I can either choose. i got two options. I can choose to score fast, and then I'm going to play really aggressive on defense and try to get a stop. Or I can choose to try to take the entire rest of the game. Um, honestly... It doesn't really matter either way. Both are good strategies. Um, you know, the, probably the safest is to, because the problem is, like, this is a significant amount of clock to take. Like, I would have to take six minutes. Um, you know, so if he gives me a look that I can get a touchdown on, like, I'll throw it. Like, like if he comes on a crossfire again, I'll throw the I'll throw the, the, the cover three bomb. If not, then I'm just kind of being strategic, watching, seeing what he's going to do. How is he going to play? You know, like, right here, this is, to me, this is man coverage. Like, I'm pretty sure that this is man coverage. So I'm going to go to this setup. This is one of my favorite man beaters. Um, we'll just do that. That's fine. I don't know what Jerry Rice is doing. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's we'll do this. Now we're going to go to bunch tight end. I love bunch tight end, especially if they're running a bunch of man pressure. Bunch tight end is really pretty good because I have – I didn't tell you guys my abilities either. I have um, – basically I have route running abilities on every player, and it's because of this. Like I've, I've played a lot of people that are going to go man coverage. So I think every single receiver on my field has um, some kind of route running ability, route tech, something. So you see here like – now this tells me like – now that throw right there tells me, okay, you need to score quick. Like just the way he's playing, I need to score quick so that I can do this, right, so that I can go for two, uh, put him in a situation, put some more pressure on him. Um, there's enough time, you know. And then, like I said, if I scored, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play really, really aggressive on defense. Like you're going to see very much more – a lot more aggressive uh, type of play from me on this on this next drive. So that's just something to kind of think through 
here oh my gosh that's such a bad like those are the that's literally how i lose games so like right here i'm almost because i because i didn't get my two point conversion if he goes down and scores he can only get to 18 so he can only get up by two i feel like onside kicking here is actually a, not a bad idea um and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna onside kick just to kind of keep uh you know keep the clock on my side versus his side because now like mathematically he can't clock me out and and i'm also going to play really aggressive you're going to see i'm moving these to default like we're going to play really 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 aggressive on defense and try to get a stop um so anyways that's just what we're going to do so you see like right here um like i said we're just gonna play really aggressive so i'm going to try to stand kind of back in this area here Let's see what he does. That's so easy. It's so easy to move the ball in this game. Probably gonna run, yeah. It's right there. He's just. I mean, he's just running this stuff. He's just running this stuff. Can't be mad at it. He's running this stuff. Bunch tight end inside zone, probably. I don't know how I didn't bag that. I don't know how I didn't bag that. Okay. So now you've got to, again, remember, we have to hold on to things. What did he run? So he's going goal line. Okay, so it's a little different. Um, if he was coming, if he was going to come out in, um, if he was going to come out in some kind of, like, passing set, I was gonna uh, like uh, I was gonna go for spacing switch. There you see, there's my red zone. That's my goal line defense. Um, that that's my nickel triple, and that's why I like the nickel triple so much because I can do stuff like that. Like you can't really run the ball on the nickel triple if I really try to stop it. Um, so now he's in tight slot. So you got to think through what is he gonna call? Okay, what is he gonna call? So we're going pinch two, baseline press, cloud flats. We're manning up this guy, and we're gonna see if we're gonna shoot the run or what. There we go. And again, we shot the run and he still scored. Classic Madden 22. This is like this is what I'm saying. This is why it is so important that I onside kick. Because now look. Like he he actually scored rather quickly. And we'll see if he goes for two here. This is a dumb decision by him. I don't know why he's doing this. Um There we go. GG's. All right, so if I can get up, dang it. Um, okay, so now he needs to onside kick. He's probably not going to, as you see. He needs to onside kick because of the clock. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm taking the entire clock and I'm kicking a field goal and winning the ball game. That's just the bottom line of what's going to happen. Um, his defense, I don't think his defense, I think the first drive he got a couple of, of stops. But, like, you're going to see he will not. He If I give him the ball back, I should lose this game. Like, if, if I give him the ball back, I should lose his game. Again, it's all about clock management. It really is. Like, my defense is good. I know it's good. But it still can't stop even the dumbest of offenses, as you saw what he was running. Like, so, you know, you just have to understand that. And you have to be okay with that. It's just a way, You have to play the game the way they make the game, right? So, that's just it. It is what it is. So, here, man coverage again. We're going to throw that dot. Now, we'll take this to the... Um, we'll take this to the quarter and then we'll see what happens. So, you know, again, my whole deal, I've got to get to about the 30, 35 yard line, 30 yard line. You could probably kick it from about the 37, I think, um, with, with Justin Tucker, you know? So again, I'm not like, and he's got two timeouts. I've got to take, like, I'll sit and boot over a lot just because of the style of play that he's playing. Um, I like boot over for the way he's playing the game. Like he's not really, he's just not really taking away the mesh routes. So I can do this and just take time. And then I need to get down right there. But I mean, you see here, like it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be anything too crazy to score here. You know, and, and again, I, I have to be careful because if I go down and score, getting the ball back, you know, it just, I, I need to make sure that I'm not doing that. So that's where I like flood a lot. Um, you know, again, just the way that he's playing is, is man coverage, man coverage, man coverage, man coverage, man coverage, you know, 
And it's like, okay, we'll just keep dotting. We'll just keep dotting. We'll just keep dotting. We'll just keep dotting. And if he's going to stay in main coverage, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, again here, now I need about 20 yards. This is a good time to run the ball, a good down to run the ball and just steal a first, trying to just, really just trying to steal a first down, trying to see kind of what he's doing, um, you know, just trying to steal first down, really. There we go. And again, I feel full confidence in just, you know, running flood. Um, flood is a really good play. You see here, like he basically just told me he's in cover three, just based off his alignment alone. So I can go to you know any any concept really. I like this RPO zone against this defense, and I'm just trying to get to the two minute warning to get him to start burning his timeouts. That's a pretty good cut right there. That probably got me a couple extra yards. And so here again, we're just going to the two minute two minute warning. And again, like I said, if he gets the ball back, shame on me. I didn't do my job. It's a hundred percent, you know, clock, clock, clock. Like, you know, me taking three at the end of half, like I said, it wasn't the worst thing. I will say, you know, this game would have been a blowout if I took seven there. If I would have got seven. So, anyway, right here, again, I'm trying to steal a first down again. I'm in that same situation I was just in. So, he, I know he's got inside stuff there, so I'm going to double team that nose tackle. Uh, and, again, like I said, I'm just trying to steal a first down. That's all I'm trying to do, just steal, like, a couple easy yards, at least get myself in a good position. And I didn't get it. So, now I've got two opportunities. So, I know that he's running a lot of man coverage. I really do. So, I'm not interested in trying to get, like, I'm not interested in getting this guy on like a anything like like a like a post. I'm just trying to get this right here. So I'm trying to get him his user to go there. There we go. There's my first down. Now I fall down. Okay. So you see how that's working. Like the reason I don't play on there's two reasons I don't play on conservative. Number one, you don't fumble a ton. But number two, if you play on conservative, I've fumbled playing on conservative more than I fumble playing on balanced. And I also am not able to dive if I'm on balance. So like if I'm on balanced or if I'm on conservative. So if I'm on balance, I can still at least fall down, you know, kind of get my yards like right there, fall down. You know, I got exactly what I wanted. And now, you know, this, this game's pretty much cooked. Like he can't really stop me. And he also can't clock me out at this point. Like, I mean, he can take, he's, he's really got to get a stop right here. Um, you know, otherwise the game is, is basically cooked, you know, so anyway, we're just going to take the clock and we're going to run the ball, try to get that first down. There it is. And then that's it. That's GG's. You'll see he's going to do that. And then I'm going to run the ball again. I wouldn't even run the ball in this situation. You don't want to risk a fumble. We're just going to kneel it. We've got plenty of real estate to be able to kick this field goal. Uh, we're right in the middle of the field, you know, so we'll see if he takes a timeout or not. Um, but anyways, if you want to get the offense, the exact offense or the exact defense that I ran in this video, they're going to be linked in the description. Like I said in the beginning, and as I've tried to continue to reiterate throughout the course of the gameplay here, Madden 22 is all about clock management. It is all about clock management. Um, and so if you can manage the clock, I would rather be able to manage the clock than have a really good offense, a really good defense. Like I really, I, I feel like I do have a really good offense and a really good defense, but I feel like even more than that, like you've got to be able to manage the clock it is so important. And that's GG's to my man, Ghost Vest Recon. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoy the gameplay and we'll see you guys next time.